how we get this onto the peel off the table when it already has lots of toppings. I didn't make these pies, but I can see that there's flour under them, so they should be good. So essentially what you're gonna do is keep the same exact angle like this. You don't wanna go too low and you definitely don't wanna swing upwards like that. So what you're gonna do is go under it. You see how it pulls now once I get past the halfway point? So you move slow backwards like this. You move slow backwards and you go quickly forwards. But if you do this, you're gonna do exactly that. You're gonna actually put a hole in it. So now watch how we get this in here. Straighten out your pizza, make sure she's right. Now, what we're gonna do is one forward movement, nice and slow. We're gonna let, let the momentum carry it off. See that? No big herky-jerky movement, just momentum. So we're gonna do it one more time with this one. If you get a little bit of flour in front of it, it'll actually push underneath and guide it, and it'll actually make it not sticky. If, in case it was sticky, pushing a little bit of semolina underneath it will make it not sticky, okay? So I'll do this a couple times for you. Now look how much flour is there. That's too much flour, right? So what we're gonna do, in this case, is we'll shake it back and forth, and the excess will come off, okay? But I wanna show you one more time. So it's not a harsh movement. You just go under, pull, and there. Okay. So now our dismount is exactly the same. We're gonna just go like this. See? So you just go forward and pull backwards like that. You don't have to yank it out with two hands and knock out the guy behind you. Just, just get out from under it like that. Thank you.